got the wrong grade. Like I failed TCOM. <laughs> And Professor McGillicuddy gave me an A on accident. Like I ever, earned an F. I earned a very low F. Did he tell you? No, no. How do you no, know? I, he doesn't know. I know because I know I earned an F. I didn't do any of the work. I got two D's and an F on the test. I never went he to just, class. He, he just passed. You? I did the math in my head. It was like all Man. F. And That's he handed out the grades, and it was an A. You love it, dude. It was an accident. It was an error. Somebody. Dude, Somebody he, in that class got my F. It's the only I, thing I can I, think of. I, I'm I'm pretty sure no one in that class got your F because if someone in a class in a college course gets an F, that doesn't look bad on the student. That comes back on the teacher. Oh. Teachers don't. That's what. Yeah, no. They want everybody to pass. Well, yeah, but I so I was in class with Patricia Global, hmm. and she went every single day. She got two A's and a B on the exams. Mm -hmm. I got two D's and an F. Yep, she got two A's, A's and a B. No, she got a B. <laughs> and I got an A. Yeah, <laughs> and she was pissed. She yeah. was pissed. Pissed. She yep. was so mad. And she almost went and told the teacher. I was like, please don't tell the yep. teacher. I'll do whatever you want. I will. I will sleep with you. My, here's my other theory about why he might have done it. You have a good, that's a good one on that's bad on the teacher if he fail. I think he saw my last name and remembered Andy oh, getting all A's all the time. That, like he just in his brain, he associated because Andy that, had, oh, yeah, had, no. Andy took like four or five classes. Oh, yeah, he no, teacher. he just fucking, yeah, he burned. So in his brain, he was like, F. No, that's got to be an A. It can't be no, that's right. I mean, I like that theory. I like so maybe that. he was just like a slave. It got erased somehow on his computer. I have no idea what happened. And Either I don't know way, if I'll ever know unless I contact Professor McGillicuddy. I, I think you, I think because he hit, he physically assaulted me one time in class. Like I fell asleep in his class, straight up fell asleep. For a few <laughs> days I was there. I was asleep, completely mm -hmm. asleep, snoring. And he hit my hand. Like he nice. walked up and hit me. It was like he had a guest lecturer or something, and That's I was just really so weird. tired, man. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I still to this day don't know why I got an A, but that's that was about when I was ready. I was like, I think I'm just gonna quit because I don't like school. I'm not good at it. I don't know what I want to do. I'm failing this class and another class. Like if I would have failed that class, I think I would have just quit. I'm glad you didn't, dude. But I got that A, yeah. mistaken A, and I was like, oh, new lease on life. And so that was the trick question. Wait, 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 so wait. those people who are throwing their shoe at us, turns out we'd be like, ha ha. It's okay. Trick question. Yeah. I have a degree, but it's not real. And yeah. he doesn't have a degree. And he's the smart guy. Boy. Boom. But see, that's the funny thing. You don't think your degree is real, and I don't believe in the reality of degrees. <laughs> based yes. on the based yes. on the fact that I would help, I've helped people defend their doctorates. Bones. Yeah. I have helped people take apart others' doctorates. Bones. I've helped write. Like master's theses, doctorate theses. So, you know, I've done all that shit from a diner where I ran a study hall. Have you ever done any theses while making feces? I've read over shit while pooping. Yeah. So, yeah. So, and so you, that's right. You, so you grasp the fact that it's really all just bullshit. Well, like academia is, I mean, well, there is, there are levels of academia that are, probably above board and you really have to learn this well, no, this I mean, and this that you apply every, in your life I, I believe in academia that it is all worthwhile and, and knowledge is power and all that fun shit right when it comes to real jobs i believe the real jobs are doctor and lawyer everything else is derivative yeah you know everything else 
er, everything else. There's needs for everything else, but those needs are ge- are generally just fancy names for shit that communities should do anyway. Make well, we, make vehicles, make yeah. the internet, serve coffee. It's math, dude. Grind coffee beans. Mm. Are you a big coffee? Are you a big coffee I, guy? I, 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 I am a I am a fan of coffee. You like coffee? I'm, do you do? How do you make your coffee? Oh, I, I still use a Mr. Coffee. Last night I just programmed Mr. Coffee to have my coffee ready when I wake up. With this electronic digital command system, Mr. Coffee woke up before I did, and the brewing started automatically. Now that great Mr. Coffee flavor is ready and waiting. Mr. Coffee really knows how to say good morning. Now, Mr. Coffee is also available in analog clock model. You use a Mr. Coffee and you buy grounds, already ground? I you ground I, your own. I, I buy grounds I buy grounds in a can. In no, a can? Like 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 yeah, Maxwell House? Like your mother makes. Alice. Yeah. I use chock full of nuts. Chock full of nuts is that heavenly coffee. Chocolate I, nuts I, is good. I, I have a coffee shop down the street and a roaster two doors down. And you go to those on like Sundays and stuff and buy. I their go to coffee. those on a fairly daily basis to get a fresh cup of coffee. Every day you get it like a fresh I, one I from enjoy, a place like that. I enjoy supporting local business. That's good. That's a great thing. That's no, a noble one of the, thing. One of so in things. the morning you you do the chock full of nuts. Chock full of nuts is richer and stronger. You get one third more cups, and that saves chock full of nuts in the morning. In the morning, just to get up and get moving. Well, but each think, day uh, you go and support a local business like that? Well, I mean, I over the pandemic more than I did usually. No, more than I did before. But yeah, throughout the pandemic, I tried to make sure if you were open, I tried to make sure you got a fat tip. That's good. That's no. nice of you. That's a well, good thing you're doing. It, it's I spent and you're enjoying coffee. Your coffee, sir. Thanks, beautiful. You're welcome. How can such a pretty wife? make such bad coffee i heard that it's a yeah. benefit for you but it's also giving well, I back sp- i i spent years i spent decades on a corner spouting support your local community <laughs> support local guatemalan people <laughs> so you I, have to do it i kind of I mean, like, yeah you kind of have to I, do it I, you yeah, can't like I, stop. I, yeah i gave myself it's like i got a year I, I'll, I'll take i'll take a year to be that asshole that just kind of wanders around with a big old goofy grin on my face and tries to make people smile in a shitty time. Carlos Summer here.